Happy Thursday, Boalia Desmond here. Thank you for tuning in. So today's message is really a message from my friend and mentors, um, Ray and Jessica Higdon wrote this book. It's called Time, Money, Freedom. Because when you ask people generally, you know, what it is that they would want, like what do they desire? People want more time, right? They want more time to spend with their kids. They want more time to spend, you know, on vacations. They want more time to spend doing the things that they love. They just want more time, which, you know, time we can never get back. Once that time is gone, it's just gone. And then people want money, right? More money to do things, more money to be a blessing. If, if we stopped and asked um, each and every one of you, I bet you every single week you have an opportunity where somebody approaches you for something or you see a need that you know you've got to meet or you're just going to something that requires you to dig deep into your pockets and you, you know, you, you got to give some money. But man, what would you give if, if you had more of it? You know, just having that, that uh, having more money to be able to give, to be able to do things, to be able to change um, communities, that would be great, wouldn't it? want more money and never be ashamed of wanting more money because we need to be able to do things with money and then freedom people seek freedom whatever freedom looks like to you I mean when you think about like your perfect day what does that kind of freedom feel like what does it look like for you so you know we're, we're searching the, for the same things regardless of who we are we want more time we want more money we want freedom freedom from what whatever it is to you that you want and so this is a book that um, Ray and Jessica Higdon wrote, and it gives you 10 simple rules to redefine um, what's possible, and then they help you, like you can reshape your whole life. But the first step that I'm going to talk about is where they talk about um, getting angry enough at your situation if it's, if it's not serving you. So maybe you work at a job where your boss is horrible to you, you're mistreated at your job, or maybe you have this high paying job that, you know, um, offers you incredible benefits. And it's just something that you think you can't walk away from because you're like, well, I have health insurance and they pay me really well. And I get tons of vacation time and all of that. And, and you've just, you've just kind of come to the point that, you know what, I'm just going to stick it out because this is, it pays the bills. Right. But instead, taking the risk right he talks about risk and usually when we t when we listen to people talking about risk it's like somebody left their job and didn't have a backup right they just kind of got sick and tired of something and they just said you know what i'm done i'm going to do something else right no but he talks about the risk being you sticking to something that you know doesn't serve you at all you're miserable you're unhappy you know you're just kind of dealing with it and then down the road Say maybe it's now 10, 15 years down the road and you look at your life and you go, I never took the risk. I never got gutsy enough to leave that job and pursue something that my heart was telling me to pursue or pursue something that you knew you needed to do, but you just didn't. The risk of that and not having the time to go back to it because now it's 10, 15 years down the road. What if you're 60? What if you're 62 and now you can't go back? Now you can't. I mean, you're just thinking now, I've just kind of missed it. Getting angry enough to say, you know what, I want that change. But then it's also going to start with you asking yourself, when you, if you have an opportunity to change your circumstances because you don't like them, what is holding you back? What is the reason that you have decided not to go for it? What is holding you back? And when you get clear and you identify that, then you can start to take the necessary steps. So for example, say if you say, um, if, if, you're, if what you identify as holding you back can be, you know what, maybe you had a bad experience with something, or maybe uh, growing up you had, you, you know, you were continuously told something, or you just, you know, you've now created this thing because of a past experience that everything that you, you do around that is always going to end up a certain way. So what can you do? You can start to take steps. It's not one big drastic change. It's like to take the next step and then take the next step and take the next step so you can change that story. So you can get away from that being the hang up. You gotta identify what it is that's hanging you up. What is it that's not making you move forward? And then 
take the first step and the first step to combat that so that no longer becomes the hang up. So I thank you for tuning in. The book again is called Time, Money, Freedom um, by Ray and Jessica Higdon. And so, you know, get yourself a copy and we can read it. So thanks for tuning in and I will see you tomorrow.